Hello there. If you are a middle school math teacher looking for ideas on what your sub plans can be for your middle school math class, you are in the right place. If we don't already know each other, my name is Kathy Martin and I'm the creator of the Pre-Algebra Teachers Middle School Math Membership. We are your one-stop shop for everything you need to teach middle school math. So let's talk about emergency sub plans or just sub plans as a whole. Why do we need sub plans or emergency sub plans? Because let's face it, life happens sometimes and we as teachers might want to take off take a day off from time to time you know we are we deserve to have mental health days and go taking a day off to go to the doctors does not count you deserve to have time off away from the classroom even if it's just for a day to step away recharge and just kind of take a break these 20, teaching in 2020 and teaching in 2020 21 has been nothing but exhausting. And it's really important that you take some time to rest, recuperate, and just recharge. So having options for what your sub plans can be will make teaching so much easier because I understand so oftentimes I feel like I don't want to take a day off because it's a lot harder to be gone than it is just to muster it up and go to class, right? But if you have a set of emergency activities in your back pocket that you can just print, make copies of, boom, leave it on your desk for your sub, it will just make things so much easier. So what can your sub plans be? I would say that the easiest way is to use what you have. Oftentimes, if you have a textbook, there are um, practice problems in the back of the textbook that you can easily assign outside of what you might have normally assigned, um, you know, during the regular during your regular class time. You could go online and search for stuff, but that takes a lot of time, right? So I would suggest you use what you have. Some of my favorite activities include using a coloring page, um, using task cards. If you've never used task cards before, really just going over concepts that we've already learned, pick a concept that you've already learned and go with it. My last favorite thing I love to use is choice boards. Um, one thing that one example of a choice board is let me, I'm just going to go ahead and share my screen with you because um, I want to show you what my choice board looks like. So this is my choice board. It's usually, I call it what's cooking in class today. So the must do's are the one or two activities that I want my students to do in class. The may do are the one or two activities that students can do if they're done with this. And then any catch up things that they have. You can easily um, show your sub how to project this onto your, onto your uh, you know, document camera or whatever, or you can simply type in this and make a copy for each student, whatever is easy for you. If you would like to download my set of emergency sub plans, which includes four to five activities, including this choice board, click on the button right below this video and you can grab it today. Again, my name is Kathy Martin. I am the creator of the Pre-Algebra Teachers Middle School Math Membership, and I cannot wait to see you next time.